Well, we start with Beth Mead, who has told us that she is still hopeful of making an appearance at the World Cup this summer. The Arsenal and England forward ruptured her ACL in November, but she said she's ahead of her schedule in the recovery and is back on the pitch and kicking a ball, which is great to hear. She's been at Windsor Castle to pick up her MBE today. Let's hear from her. Beth, um, congratulations. Um, how are you feeling? It must have been a great day for you. Amazing day. Um, yeah, amazing day to be a part of, amazing place to come to, to meet the Prince himself and yeah, to be recognised for such a prestigious award is still quite surreal. Yeah, and obviously meeting the Prince, what did you guys talk about? It must have been... Of course, football. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, easy chat, isn't it? Um, he asked me how my injury was going. Um, that he was coming to the FA Cup final at the weekend, which is obviously sold out, which is amazing. And yeah, um, how we were looking forward to the World Cup coming up. So yeah, easy football chat, which is always gets rid of the nerves a little bit when you're talking about that. You've just sort of, you know, probably preempted my next question. Yeah. How is the injury? The injury is okay. I'm uh, a good five months in now. I am back on the pitch and kicking a ball again, um, feeling good, ahead of schedule. So that's all I can do in my um, control right now. Do you feel confident that you're going to be at the World Cup? I wouldn't say confident because that's out of my control, but um, I am working hard to try and get as close to that as possible. But at the end of the day, it's probably going to be Serena's decision. Yeah, of course. OK, well, um, we we'll, we'll obviously all hope that you're there. So, yeah. You know, um, can I ask you a bit about other somebody else that's had an ACL as well? Yeah. Leah Williamson, I was speaking to, to Lucy about it as well. Yeah. She's going to be a big loss to the team, isn't she? I mean, yeah, it's your captain, it's your leader. Um, we have lots of them in the team, but um, yeah, Leah's an amazing player and one that obviously played a big role in the summer just gone. Um, so I feel for her. I know the position she's in. I know how she's feeling right now. Um, but I, myself, my teammates in Glen will support her and hopefully she'll come back stronger, ready for the next competition. Definitely. And obviously England are sort of dealing with that favourites tag going into this World Cup as well. How, how do you think that sort of changes the dynamic for the squad? Do you know, I think I, knowing the squad pretty well, the togetherness and how Serena works, she will take that pressure away from us. And we've just... It's a World Cup, you've got to go out there and you've got to enjoy it and you've got to enjoy playing football and it's what we do for a living, it's what we all love doing. And I think the way Serena simplifies that in that context, I think she'll put us in a good stead and make us feel comfortable going into the tournament. And um, obviously there has been a few injuries. There's a chance we obviously all hope that you're going to be there. Do you think the team will change slightly with some players missing this tournament? Do you think that Serena will just adapt the squad and the strength and depth is there? Yeah, I think obviously it's changed a little bit when you look at the squad now. You know, you've got Ellen and Jill who's retired, um, myself who may not go, um, Leah obviously not there. So there's going to be a few tweaks in the squad. But like you said, we do have the depth. We have the quality of player there to come and, and, and do a good job. And... Serena backs her full squad, so yeah, hopefully throughout um, the competition she'll um, trust in everyone that she's got there. And before your injury, how do you feel like your season's gone? Obviously, amazing summer, yeah, um, yeah. but your, your, sort of your club season as well, how do you feel like it's all gone? Do you know what, considering circumstances of uh, injuries and, and we've had a lot at the club this year, I think we've won a cup, we got to a semi-final and probably deserve more out of that game. And we're in a good position in the league to still come away with hopefully a Champions League if we can um, uh, win the games that we've got so far. So I think considering circumstances, it's been a good season for Arsenal.